around the world, we have a situation that we are taking more and more blood samples. We are taking the blood samples to uh, ensure uh, accurate and precise treatment um, and to be sure that we don't make any medication errors. The increase of blood samples per year is about 7%. And in the lab, we are ensured that we have a, a high efficiency uh, analyzing machine that can make precise analyze so the doctor know what to do. In, in the analyzing machine, we are talking about maximum 20 minutes it takes to make analyze of a blood sample. But a Danish study has shown that uh, the time from the blood samples are taken until uh, that we have the answer back to the doctor so we can begin the treatment of the patient waiting in the bed is taking about, in average, 90 minutes. So how can it be that we have an analyzing that takes 20 minutes, but still we have, uh, have to wait 90 minutes before we, have, uh, we can begin to treat the patient right? Um, this is because that the 70 minutes we are using in the transportation time, because we have the human involved. So we are transporting the blood samples around by human in trolleys or with a portier or what you have. And this is, this is taking an average 70 minutes. What we can do is we can save about 68 of these 70 minutes. So we can make the transportation happening from the, the actual patient up to the lab. What we have done is we have invented a new system that are using the pneumatic um, technique and uh, uh, ensure that we have the blood samples uh, ahead. It's worked by... You have a unit in, uh, a, a launch unit in the department where the patient are, where you can introduce your blood samples and then you are um, delivered it down in the lab. We are using the original tubes for the blood. We are not doing anything extra. You don't have to put it in a container. So it's like putting the tubes, uh, the blood samples on the, the, the table like they do today or on the trolley. Now they just introduce it into the machine. What are we going to do? We are going to reducing the time. Everybody is talking here about IT. We are talking about real-time IT. But what is if the data is not available for the IT system? So what we are doing here is we are reducing the time. We are giving the possibility to use the IT that you have spent billions of dollars to buy. Very reliable. It's uh, from A to B. It's a dedicated system. Uh, nothing to be intersection. No, no intersection points. Very easy to install. 40 millimeter pipes can be everywhere in the existing hospital, in a new hospital. The maintenance is very low because a pipe system is a dead system, so nobody can go wrong. Only in the launch unit you have moving parts. So this is a turnaround you can really talk about that are short. Because when you are treating the patient, when, if you are taking 80% um, of the response time from the blood samples, uh, reducing that 80%, then you can treat the patient right at the right time. So you can start about treat right instead of start to treat wrong and then afterwards treat right. So, and this is of course uh, with a clinical report that has been done the last four months in the Danish hospital. So, uh, so we are sure that everything is functioning right. And the report has shown one good things. Has shown one good thing is also that that um, that uh, that the blood sample, the analyze is a little bit better than a normal transportation uh, system in a trolley. And we think it's because of the time. Here we have tried to make a movie so you can see how the system is a, is a function. You have a patient come in, it can also be a department where you don't have a patient come in, where, where you have a patient already. The doctor is asking for a blood sample so we can begin to find out what is the patient, what is the failure of the patient, what, what do we have to do to treat him right. You go out to the, to the launch unit that are immediately where the patient are. Very easy to log on and instead of putting it on a table and wait for the portier or the trolley, you are just introduce the existing blood sample you have in the hospital into the unit. So you are not doing any additional things. You are just doing instead things. Now everything is functioned automatically. Everything is shipped. When the last one is, uh, is launched from the unit, you can again, again introduce the blood samples. This is just to show that uh, it's installed, installed over the ceilings, in the wall, in the basement, where you have the place and you can move around on the complete hospital. So from the one end to the other, you're using, if it's 600 meters, you are talking about you're using 83 seconds. In the lab, you are falling in to an ordinator that ensures that the blood samples are introduced into the analyzing machine. So now you can have your real-time data. We are using about a couple of minutes for the transportation time, and now you have the real-time data back. So we save time and life 
Meanwhile, we save money. Thank you.